Hi everyone. Good afternoon. It's Saturday. And it's kind of dreary out. Uh, I was going to go over and see the dog and my grandson, but I think I'm going to do it tomorrow. So I'm on here for a tag again. And I want to thank Linda from Linda's, I think it's Linda's Thrifty Life. Um, she is so sweet. She, like, she includes everyone. She doesn't, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a high school thing, I guess, but... Um, she doesn't she she includes everyone so when she did a tag she says you're all tagged and i love them i think they're so much fun so after i'm done this i want to show you the finished product of the spring wreath oh you're gonna love it i added i had this cute little bird that i had forgotten that i bought specifically for this wreath that i made for um, someone here and then i'm going to put i made signs today that I'm going to put in every, we have four floors, so I'm gonna put them in the laundry rooms to try to sell my wreaths now and the ornaments because Christmas is coming and you don't get a lot when you're retired and on social security. So um, I'm not complaining, I worked hard and I earned every penny of what I get, but you know, I'd like to make a little extra for the grandkids. You all know what I mean. Anyway, so after these questions, it was a tag I guess it's the, a getting to know you tag, but it's, I saw her doing it. it was really, she gave some great answers. Thank you, Linda. Um, and um, so when I'm done, I'll show you the wreath. So let's get started. What does your name mean? I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, if I were to guess, I would say warrior. I'm a very, uh I even wrote a paper in college. I went to college for a couple years and uh, my English comp teacher said to write a paper about something that you know about yourself and I'm, I'm a warrior. So I, I don't know what my name means, Cheryl, I don't know. Where are you from? Mount Laurel, New Jersey. I lived there until I got left home and got married and then I, I moved to Collingswood. I would say I'm from Collingswood for 34 years. I raised my children there and it's a cute little Victorian town and I loved it and I moved you know just I had two homes there with my one with my husband and one after he died I had a downsize so I love Collingswood uh, where was I born I was born in the Cooper Hospital in Camden New Jersey uh, what let's see uh, what would you who, what would your parents have named you if you were a boy, I don't know. But I know one thing, my mother wanted to name me Melody. And my grandmother, Mary, that I talked to you guys about on Chit Chat Tuesday, uh, she wasn't having it. She said, you're not naming her Mary. So my mother named me after, and my father named me after a ship, a battleship named the Cheryl Lynn, I think. So uh that that fits um biggest accomplishment i'd have to say my children um uh, i think linda said the same thing that was the first thing i said when before she answered is my children and my grandchildren hands down eye color my eye color you can't tell but it's light blue it's like a light lightish dark blue i don't know blue uh candle scent i can't tell you because that's part of a giveaway I have going for the 13th of November. And I'm not gonna tell you because if you watch, you know what I'm talking about. Can you cook? Absolutely. I love to cook. I love to bake. When, I, when my job closed down in 2013, uh, it was like a shock to everyone. I was in a union, I had great benefits and out of the blue, someone called me at home and said, the job is closing in a month. It was a really bad time for me. So, um, uh, it, it was just like a shock. So, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where I'm at here. Hold on. Naming, one, two, three. Oh, oh, cooking. Oh, I wanted to say, see what happens when you're old. Um, I love to cook. I really make good spaghetti and 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 sauce. Um, and when I lost my job, 
I uh, started to bake. I always baked cookies at Christmas and everybody loved my cookies. So I started a little home cooking business and I baked cookies and sold them per pound. And I really did good. It, it kept me above water. It wasn't like, um, I wasn't like a real fantastic success, but I did well enough to keep me going. And I had cookie sales. I made cookie trays and I made about 30 cookies and I would sell cookie trays and I did really good. They were beautiful trays. If you ever want to go to my Facebook page, you can see some of my old baking pictures. Um, so yes, I can cook and I love to cook. What scares you the most about life? It's not getting old. I'm not afraid of getting old because I think getting old, first of all, you're lucky because the, the other choice is not so good. Um, second of all, it gives you more freedom to be who you are deep inside. I think when you're young, you kind of hold back a little bit. So what scares me the most is anything happening to my children or my grandchildren. That, that's what scares me the most. Favorite holiday, Easter. One day, uh, my birthday fell on Easter and it was, I think it was my best birthday just because it fell on Easter. I just love Easter. I love the Easter time and I love making baskets for the grandkids. Uh, show, oh, but, uh, favorite binge show, Saturday Night Live. I'm a person that loves to laugh. You probably are surprised to hear that, but I, I do. I cannot miss Saturday Night Live, I, or I tape it so that I can see it when I come home, wherever I'm at. I love it. I stay up late to watch it. I'm a, you know, I just love that show. I think it's hysterical. I've been watching it for years and years and years. Back with Gilda Radner, oh, John Bellucci, love it. Um, and Lawrence O'Donnell is my favorite news show. I love the news too. I'm keeping up with everything in the news and with the way the world is, I think we have to. Uh, what ideas are you not, oh, what things don't you leave home without? My pocketbook. Are you an AM or PM person? Absolutely a night person. I asked the doctor about that one time and he said to me, everyone is born with a clock and you're either more alive at night or you're more alive in the morning. Everyone has a clock and apparently I am a night person and I'm more alive at night and I have more, I feel more happier at nighttime. It's weird, but that's what I am. Last thing I bought, I bought a whole bunch of crafting stuff because I'm working on a craft for tonight for someone special and milk. Uh, half a gallon of milk and some bottled water because I don't drink the water ever since I got cancer I'm afraid to drink the faucet water introvert extrovert I'm an extrovert I used to be an introvert when I was in my 20s I think when I turned 30 I started to come out of my shell I used to be very shy as a little girl and into my 20s but I believe I'm an extrovert I love to talk to people I love to just, I'll sit down with a stranger and just talk about my life like I've known her someone for years. Favorite book and why? This was kind of hard for me. I do love reading, but like I told you, I'm very distracted. So, but my favorite book, which came to my mind right away, was Songs of Solomon. And it's by Toni Morrison. It is about a, uh, from birth to adulthood, this African-American man called Milkman. I really love it because it was a hard read for me. And it was so intense. And I had to read it two, three times to just, to really, to really get it. And um, I just, I just feel like, I don't know. It was the most intense book I've ever read and the hardest book I've ever read and I loved it. So, Song of Song, Songs of Solomon. Okay. Uh let's see. Let's see here. Favorite book and why songs. I think that's it. That was really fun. Okay, and good. We're only at 9 minutes, so I'm going to show you the wreath. And then I'm going to get out of here until tonight. And I told you I'm 
making a craft for someone special. This is the wreath. And let me get you some more light. And if you see here, I put, I had bought this little bird because I wanted it to be neutral colors. I put it right on the top and I, I bought it for this wreath because I thought it would just go beautiful. And I did end up putting tails. I forget someone, I think Earth Girl said, you can't ever get enough of a bow. And she, you know what? I got to thinking she's right. So I put tails on here and it definitely, thank you, Earth Girl. It definitely made a difference. It, it, did, it did bring it all together. So thank you for that tip. And I got the pretty little butterflies and that's it. I think it's gorgeous and I think she will be happy. So I wanted to show you my little angel that goes with me wherever I go. Um, I call her Mary. She's just so beautiful. My sister-in-law gave me her. And uh, I'm not going to let you see my place right now because it's a disaster from crafting. Um, that she goes wherever I go. And I think she's beautiful. My sister-in-law gives me everything she gives me. I, it's like so precious to me and I keep everything like I cherish it and um, along with other some other special people but anyway I hope you enjoyed it and I want to tag someone I'm going to tag you earth girl since you gave me that great tip on the wreath you're tagged so go over the questions and write them down and you do it um, I know you have a channel you don't go on much but you can do it so I'm going to tag earth girl and hmm let me see who else um i don't think she watches me i would tag lori from my crazy light but i don't think she watches my channel and i'm gonna tag donna donna unboxes i think she watches me a lot donna you're tagged so answer those 20 questions earth girl and donna let's get to know each other a little better okay bye bye everyone